Hey everyone, it's Motec Reviews, and a couple of weeks ago, I actually reviewed my Razer Blade 15 here, which was my main machine for the last two years before I got my PC. The response to that video was really awesome, so thanks to everybody who commented and watched the video. And I had a couple of comments asking me to show my maintenance routine that I go through to keep this uh, laptop running smoothly over the years. So these are my top five tips and tricks to keep the laptop running smoothly. None of these tricks are uh, really require any technical background, so you don't have to have any in-depth technical skill to do any of these steps. These are just general maintenance routine steps. So the first step that I take is actually plugging in the laptop and keeping it elevated. So while gaming or doing any intensive tasks, make sure that you're plugging in the laptop to the charger so that the fans inside the laptop have the maximum power under their control so they can uh, do a higher RPM and keep your laptop cool over your uh, intensive period of gaming or doing something like rendering videos. And the second thing is actually using a laptop stand. So I'm using this uh, Razer Chroma laptop stand. You obviously don't have to use this one. You can use any stand uh, from Amazon. And the idea is that you're lifting the laptop off the desk. So in general, you would only have the height of these laptop feet here to cool the laptop, which doesn't give a lot of air to these intake fans up the, on the back here. But using uh, this stand here would elevate the laptop, give a lot of air and airflow into the fans here and give you better cooling. So you'll probably drop the uh, heat inside the laptop by three to four degrees Celsius just by using a stand. So that's a major advantage that, um, really doesn't require any modification to your laptop. So that's the first step that I take. Now, the second step that I take is cleaning maintenance. So on the outside of the laptop, obviously this is a black uh, finish that collects a lot of uh, oil and residue from your uh, fingers over time. So make sure that you're actually cleaning the uh, residue with a microfiber cloth uh, over time, just so that it doesn't uh, really stick there or lay there for too long. So this is gonna keep your laptop looking fresh on the outside. Now, in terms of the insides, what you really want to focus on is the fans here, as well as the exhaust fans up here. So what I do for those is actually use an air duster to clean them off from time to time to make sure that there's no dust buildup, kind of blocking them, lowering the efficiency of your laptop, and over time, potentially even uh, making them stop working completely, because dust does do that to your electronics. So for that, you can use um, a air duster. So this is what people really think of air dusters usually when, uh, when I say air duster. And for these, they kind of blow air in bursts and they tend to freeze very, very quickly uh, and stop working. So they're not very efficient and they're probably priced between five and $10 uh, depending on the one you get. So these are actually quite expensive. So what I started using was uh, this electronic air duster that I ordered off of Amazon. So this uh, doesn't need any air inside, obviously. This is completely electronic. It charges through USB-C, so it has a battery on the inside. And it is actually really excellent at blowing air. So the areas that I focus on uh, using this um, inside the laptop are the two fans at the back as well as these uh, fins up here. So if you blow straight into these and these here, you should be good. And you should do that probably once a month uh, just to make sure that the dust buildup is always cleared out from inside the laptop. Uh, now for the third step is I always check the inside of the laptop to make sure that the internals are doing well. So what you'll need for that is probably a toolkit off of Amazon, like this iFixit toolkit. And the screwdriver inside will have different tips to use and you'll need the T5 tip. And you'll just take off the screws on the back here. There's probably around eight screws at the back. Once you take those off, you can have access to the battery and the internals. And you just have to make sure that the battery is not going through like a bloating or anything like that. That tends to happen in gaming laptops. Razer does get a lot of slack for that in general, but this is a problem across all gaming laptops because there's a lot of heat buildup inside this small chassis and the lithium ion batteries are not really designed to withstand that much heat for such a long time. So you'll find that the battery might bloat. And what I like to do is check it from time to time just to make sure that I catch the problem before it damages my trackpad or, or damages any of the other internals. So that's just a good step uh, to take um, in terms of checking the laptop from the inside. Uh, now, in general, the last step or the fifth step is gonna be software upkeep uh, and storage upkeep. So on the inside of the laptop, I tend to go in uh, and erase any uh, apps or files that I don't necessarily need that are taking up space on my disk. And the reason for that is if your disk fills up, 
you're going to find that the laptop is going to slow down. So make sure that you're cleaning up your disk from time to time, especially that the disks on these laptops are limited. You might have like 512 uh, GBs on it, and that will fill up quick with games and files and movies and so on and so forth. Um, and a, another trick is to always keep your Windows updated. Uh, now, not all the updates are really, uh, some updates might have issues or errors in them, but in general, keeping up the, with the Windows updates is good for your laptop. And I also have an antivirus software on there to catch any viruses that might be slowing down the laptop or uh, wasting the efficiency of the laptop. So if you follow these five steps, uh, you'll see that the laptop can run uh, really smoothly. Uh, just some things that I use here as well is the SanDisk. So uh, for that step with the storage, if you ever need to move the storage somewhere else and you don't want it on your laptop anymore, you can just use something like this SSD. It's very small and light and it can store up to one terabyte of files. So this is also a really good tool to have alongside your laptop here. Yeah, so these are the five steps I follow in general to upkeep and maintain my laptop. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, and if you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because that's going to be the best way to keep up with the video uploads uh, as well as support the channel's growth. So have an awesome day and I'll see you next time.